Well, Omaha sits at the crossroads of I-80 and then I-29 mm -hmm. right there, and it plays host to major national and international events each year. Believe it or not, those two things also make our city a prime spot for human trafficking. And this month, you're being asked to pay attention to this growing problem. And here to tell us uh, more from the Coalition on Human Trafficking, Sister Celeste Wobeter is here, and she's also joined by Sister Rita Connell. Thanks for stopping Welcome. in. Welcome. Today. Good morning. Uh, Thank January, you. Uh, National Human Trafficking Awareness Month. Um, take us back. Can you explain? I guess, how, how is human trafficking defined? Okay, first of all, thank you very much for mm -hmm. having us on your show this morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, the official title, I realized that Obama uh, has declared that January is the National Slavery and Human Trafficking Prevention Month, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, which, uh, and human trafficking is defined as modern form of slavery. Now, it's hard to realize that slavery is still such a common yeah, in uh, any form in any form mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and there's more slavery happening in our country today or in our in, ever in our history mm. which uh, is hard to believe uh, yes. something about this is that you know in our area we feel like this this can't be a problem here I mean in the United States period but in our neck of the woods it's so hard to fathom that it's an issue but you've got uh, some some information from um, Creighton University where they've been looking into this mm -hmm. and figuring out what's really going on because you gotta understand the problem before you can fix it right so what do we know about the issue here? I'd like to define uh, human trafficking as a uh, modern form of slavery where people are coerced to engage in either labor or commercial sex. Mm -hmm. And we, our coalition focuses basically on uh, sex trafficking. And any person who is forced into sex trafficking who is under the age of 18, mm -hmm. she's automatically a victim of sex trafficking. Mm -hmm. And anyone else who is coerced into sex trafficking mm -hmm. through force or fraud or coercion is a victim of human trafficking. Yeah, I'm glad and you defined that because I think some people think of, you know, warehouses with people chained up, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and and held against their will. And sometimes, you know, they are held against their will. Mm -hmm. But uh, the definition is, is is important. But we're taking a look at the map here, and these show kind of hot spots of exactly of mm -hmm. parts of our area. Mm -hmm. and what do they What do they and show? This is part of uh, the research done by Creighton University that shows this is across uh, this eastern part of Nebraska. Mm -hmm. The red indicates where the, it's really hot spots for sex trafficking to be occurring. So you see a lot of red in Council Bluffs at the casinos and in Omaha at the um, old market, old market area, area again, entertainment area. Right, the interstate. And then system. the other really hot spot is West Omaha. It's along about in the Boys Town area. Really? And you know, all of those colors indicate the uh, extent of sex trafficking that's happening. And here's some but more information. But it's also very uh, prevalent throughout the state of Nebraska. Right, and some uh, a map here showing mm -hmm. Lincoln and the problem there. Sister Rita, tell us about the Coalition on Human Trafficking. Who's involved and what's your mission? Um, the, the, the mission of the Coalition on Human Trafficking is the elimination of human traffic in our in our area. Mm -hmm. The coalition is was started by the three religious communities of Sisters, Sisters of Mercy, um, uh, Servants of Mary, and the Notre Dame Sisters. Mm -hmm. And we learned, I mean, we realized that we knew very little about what this was all about. And so we have had many uh, just high class, high, Stand, standing people who have come to join our coalition, including um, uh, Sheriff Tim Dunning mm -hmm. uh, and, and a number of his officers. Um, uh, Stephen Patrick O'Meara, who is the author of the Nebraska Human Trafficking Task Force, um, the plan for that, and he was the first coordinator. We now have the second coordinator, who's Glenn Parks, who's a part of it. Um, Megan Malik from the um, Women's Fund of Omaha, mm -hmm. uh, the American Mothers, the Nebraska chapter, uh, Catholic Charities. Um, there's a, I mean, there's a lot of people involved with yes. this, and there's ways for people to get involved too. And also, there's mm -hmm. a prayer 
uh, service that's coming up a little bit later this month. Um, who can come to this and, and, and what will they get out of this? Okay, the, the prayer service will be held on Saturday, uh, January 28th at 10 o'clock in the morning. It will be at St. Pius X Catholic Church and the everyone is invited to this. It's a non-denominational service. Mm -hmm. We will be having uh, a survivor of human trafficking, a local survivor. Mm -hmm. We'll have someone from Creighton who will be talking about the research and the results of the research they've been doing. Which is a really important aspect of this. Very, very. Yeah. It's, it's really, this year we're really focusing on Omaha. Yeah. And, um, and the third one is you talking you. about the <laughs> it's not, talking about well, the hotel motel training project. But uh, there is a website that you can go to no trafficking dot right, org. Right. There's yes. a whole list of other options out yes. there for, for information on this. Mm -hmm. You've got to topic. understand the issue before you can address it, and that's why we're glad to have you here today. Thank and you. And looking ahead to that prayer service, moving us in that direction. Thank you both for joining us. Sisters, thanks for coming. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Thank you for having Thank us. You. Appreciate time. You betcha. Well, it's